Audio mixing is a crucial part of video production. There are many methods to use to achieve a good and capturing audio track for your audience. Stick around and I'll show you a handful of them. Here I'll be concentrating on the key elements of music mixing. You can transition between your songs using these three methods I present for you here. Of course there are many others, but these are my selection for this tutorial. Number one, transition based on tempo or intensity in the music. The songs I use is from YouTube's own list of free music. Move the first song to the timeline. The next song has a pretty intensive part, so I'll find a similar passage to use to transition. Stretch out the track so you can see the waveform. If you don't see the audio waveform, hit this icon and make sure they are active as shown here. So he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them This is a good place, cause the song naturally shifts tempo here With the blade tool, cut the track Make sure the snapping tool is active to get a precise cut it will snap to the playhead's position and cut there. Save him instead of searching in could change the world, change times, rearrange them. With the selection tool, mark and delete the last part of the song. Move the next song to the timeline and find the right spot to transition to. Here I look for a shift in speed and intensity. Work for believe things you gotta work for, believe me. Taken willing to put in the fucking hours. It takes to the louder. Now I won't stop till I wear the crown. Stop till I wear the crown. This is the perfect spot. Cut the track and join it with the first song. Destiny got a new engine from Pin the Redemption. Just kill no discretion. Your mind is a weapon. 11 11 is time for progression. Oh! We have the build up and the transition to a similar part in the next song. Number two, beats transition based on the rhythm of the track. If the BPM beats per minute is exactly the same, you can make a seamless transition. Grab the third song and put it on the timeline. Move it to audio track 2 and stretch it out so we can see the waveform. When playing the song on audio 1, hit M on the keyboard on every clap to mark the track. Remember to highlight the clip on track 1 and mute track 2 as shown. Activate audio 2 and mute audio 1. Now we need to isolate the beginning of the next song. We do that by cutting off the section and converting that to a compound clip.
right click on the clip and hit new compound clip in the drop down menu. A compound clip is a self contained clip with a sound bite in it. It cannot be stretched out beyond the boundaries of the compounded clip. The clip will always start and end on the same position. Now move the clips as shown and again use the M key to mark the beats. Remember to highlight the clip. Now we need to match the beats so the two tracks sync up. We do that by changing the speed on the compounded clip. Unfortunately, the markers doesn't line up when changing the speed. It would be a great improvement to DaVinci Resolve. Right click and hit change clip speed, set it to 60.5%. I did a lot of experimenting to come up with the correct percentage. Stretch out the clip and reattach it to the main clip. Now every second beat matches up with the markers on the track above. Let's hear how it turned out. To make the transition a little smoother, drag the handle to the right to fade in the track. Number 3. Deleting the gap for instant transition to the next song. Move the fourth song to the timeline. Then simply trim off the silent part of the beginning and the end of the clips. Activate the snapping tool and join the clips together. Let's hear how that works out. Pretty neat. Sometimes simplicity makes great. DaVinci Resolve has a lot of effects to use in all sorts of projects. You find them in the effects panel. Just drag and drop the effect to a clip on the timeline and you can make the adjustments you please. Shit that I can't let go, so just stay tuned for the rest of the show. So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things, realize something needs change. Cause I know you got me fucked up, let me show you what's up. Cause enough is enough. I'll take a face full of payment, just to make a statement. I know there's no turning back. Oh god, adrenaline and wasted, so mad I can taste. It's extremely powerful. Another part of DaVinci Resolve is Fairlight. It's a very advanced tool dedicated to audio editing. It's a blast to dive into. 
may be a topic for another tutorial. Please remember to hit subscribe and like the video if you did. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.